glance, what's most striking about Krakow is its historic splendor. It's a city that's full of old world charm. But down by the river Vistula and the Gothic Wawel Castle, we meet up with 28-year-old Rafael Vasek. He's going to show us a different side to Krakow, a cooler, hipper city than the one the average tourist sees. I love Krakow. It's a magic and unique city. Every street and every corner has a story to tell. But it's also a great place for young people with a modern lifestyle. It's great here. According to insiders, Krakow can be youthful, modern and crazy, if you know where to look. We're going to start our tour today with a performance by artist Cecilia Malek. She's spending a whole year climbing a tree every day. Cecilia Malik's project is called 365 Trees. She has her photo taken up a different tree every day and posts the pictures on the internet, much to the delight of fans all over the world. She says she was inspired by a character in a novel. Krakow has a lively art scene. Rafael Vasek's next tip is the Bunkier Stuki, or Art Bunker. It's one of the city's leading galleries for contemporary art. This gallery we're in regularly hosts exhibitions and workshops. At the moment they're preparing for an exhibition called Follow the White Rabbit, which includes a sculpture by artist Justyna Kuke. Local artist Justyna Kuke is putting the finishing touches to one of her fabric sculptures. There didn't used to be many alternative arts venues in Krakow, but these days the city is full of galleries and art studios where you can exhibit your work. Rafael Vasek's next port of call is the middle of Krakow's Old Town, a creative collective which Rafael himself is a part-time member of. Welcome to our studio. We often work on group projects here. Come in and take a look around. The five-person collective produces books and films together. All the members are freelancers. Rafael and his girlfriend, Joanna Wojcik, are discussing their current film project, it's called The King of Toys, and it's set to be finished by early 2011. They're hoping to show it at various film festivals around Europe. In the evenings, the two artists like to head to Kazimierz, Krakow's former Jewish quarter. Its back-to-back -back bars and cafes are now popular with students and partygoers. This is Rafael's favorite bar, the Miesze. It's done up in a 1950s look. And in fact, it's one of the hippest hangouts in Kazimierz. This is where I say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed the Krakow I've introduced you to today. All the best. So long. These days, Krakow also boasts some legendary nightlife, but that's another story.